You ever notice how when religious people accuse science of robbing the world of its mystery, they only bring up fun, inconsequential mysteries? Right. Like they get really pissed off that we've explained what a rainbow is, but they're never pining for mysteries like, why do we keep getting cholera? You hear this one from Christians, but also from that whole swath of spiritual but not religious. And I believe in something nincompoops that we can lump together as irrationalists. And even the phrasing is an admission of guilt. Right. They say that science robbed the world of its mysteries. But I feel like the word you're looking for is solved. Right. <laughs> right. Like, isn't that what mysteries are for? When you answer a question, you haven't stolen it. You, you've given it purpose. A question without an answer is half a thing. It goes against human nature to want an answerless question. If it didn't, people would have loved the finale to Lost. And yet, this nostalgia for stupidity is pervasive, and it's pretty clear why, right? After all, there are an awful lot of careers out there built entirely upon not knowing the answer, but with style. You know, for most of human history, we actually, as a species, didn't know shit. You know, the world's filled with unsolved mysteries everywhere you look. And because humanity is so bad at not knowing the answer, we just started making shit up. Of course, we couldn't prove any of it because it was all made up bullshit. So by means of natural selection, only the flimsiest bullshit survived. Anything that lent itself to direct empirical testing tended to get rooted out. So very naturally, humans created invisible, untestable, unpredictable entities to explain all the mysterious phenomena of the world. And it's not even that humans preferred those answers, right? It's just they were the least testable and therefore the most likely to propagate. And this is working fine, I guess, for thousands of years before science comes along and fucks it up. You know, why do we have all this cholera? Because of sin, probably. And, you know, even if I'm wrong, the net result is less sin. And even if I know I'm making shit up, I don't have to feel guilty about it. After all, anybody else who might answer that question would also be as full of shit as I am. And maybe they'd be worse at it. Maybe they would take advantage of all these people more than I already do. So it's best for me to defend my bullshit to keep other people from coming along with even worse bullshit. And I guess that moral justification works great until somebody comes along and starts actually reducing cholera. And if morality was a prerequisite for justification, this is the point in the story where religions would just start packing up their fucking tents, right? The first time somebody ever demonstrated that cholera was completely unrelated to sinfulness. But it's not, so they don't. And so now we have people who speak wistfully of universal bewilderment and in so doing elevate ignorance to the level of a virtue. They create an ignorance fetish and call it a love of mystery. Well, look, I love mysteries, too, but the best part is the fucking end, right? Especially when the mystery is why do people keep vomiting to death? But if you demand virgin intellectual horizon, hey, guess what? Science is the best fucking friend you ever had. The horizon is way bigger than it used to be, and it is expanding constantly at an increasing rate. Every answer brings new questions with it, so there's always more mysteries. Of course, people with the ignorance fetish don't care about that. right? It's not enough for the mystery to be unsolved. It has to be unsolvable. Because if any question has an answer, like a genuine answer that we can actually, you know, eventually build a consensus around, that answer isn't God. And so they fight us every fucking step of the way because every step towards understanding reality is a step away from religion. And if they just considered that for a few seconds, they'd pack up those tents and go home. But guess what? It's easy not to notice shit like that when you already have an ignorance fetish.